What's going on guys? My name is I Miss Too Much and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on the who is fishing attack and the reason why I'm calling it that and not the first mission attack or whatever is because um, the missions in this game are procedurally generated which means that there's really no one simple way of solving a given mission because it's actually slightly randomized each time. Now before we can really begin this mission we need to make sure that we are connected to the internet and we need to set up an email account which I've already done all of this. But I'm going to run through how you do it. You go here, you'll hit email services, enter that, and I'll create you an account, which will let you log into the pat, which will let you log into the mail. And then you go over here, search again. And you also need to go to the shop. And you can click on any of these because they're all the same thing. And you need to download these four pieces of software. Now, I have them all in here right now. If you want to be able to use these anywhere, um, in your entire file system you can actually move them to your bin folder which we explained in i think the first episode so otherwise let's get into the actual mission and this is basically the steps I already took already but when you get your email account i know something will pop up and this person will send you an email saying that they want you to connect to all this stuff and get this person's email account password and the way we're going to do that and make sure to verify that we actually need this uh, method is we're going to do um, SMTP user list 21.209.27, which is just the IP address they gave us. And it should say zero results for that um, scan, which that means we do need to use the who is attack. So what we're going to do is run the same IP address, except this time we're going to do who is. And it's going to give us the administrative contact, which is just whoever is the administrator of the server. And we have to make sure we also download this attachment uh, because we're going to need it later. So we're going to send them an email using the uh, autofill stuff in here. So we're going to do forget it. We're going to type today. at xstore.com and then we're going to go to login issues and we're going to say hello my name is and we're actually we actually need uh the person's email and if you want to skip like doing all this you can just take the important information put it in notepad that's what i usually do i just decided not to do it this time for some reason and then you go over here and you copy and the game's going to lag a little bit because that's one of the issues it's been having with this update is it likes to hang a lot screen control v and all i'm doing is clicking on the red spot and you hit send and they say um everything's working and they give you the password and we're going to use that to connect to the ssh server which the more i do this i realize i should have done this in the first place So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste all this information into here so I don't have to keep opening this email over and over again uh, anytime I need anything. And then there's a little bug. You can't actually select that text for some reason. So you do 21.29.7.165 just because. Yeah, that's another one of the issues. It doesn't like to open the mail sometimes. And that's why you do this. It's so you don't have to use the mail or rely on it at all. All right, now that we have that, we're going to use SSH. We're going to do SSH. If you want to see the usage, it's SSH user at password and then the IP address. So we're going to do SSH and the IP or the username is always the last person, the person's last name. And the password is going to be E44. And we're going to enter their IP address. And then we're in. And we need to do PS because if there's somebody on the server, we need to take a slightly different uh, chain of actions, which would be we're going to do CD config, which is we're going to do this regardless. But we need to do this a lot faster. So we're going to do SCP D, which is download. And we're going to do mail dot text. Then we're going to do the same thing the bank.txt and then we're going to do this again but this time I'm going to use the direct thing just because it's slightly faster you're going to need to do etc 
password and then you're gonna hit exit and this is what you need to do if this is just because i'm not 100 how sure the active and passive traces work luckily we're not in something where we'd have to worry about that right now but in the future you might have to and this is my what i understand is a way to stop the uh active or passive traces so you're going to do decipher in the password file which we covered this uh password file in the first episode of this tutorial it's just the uh, root password for the server that we just connected to and we're going to run this and we'll be back in just a second after it's done loading all right i found our password so what we're going to do is we're going to ssh back into the server And now that we're connected in this, do not take my word for this because I've not 100% figured out how the active and passive traces differ and work. There's stuff in the manual about it, but it never really told you exactly how you know you're being traced or anything like that, except some command that or a program that doesn't exist or isn't existing right now. So as far as I can tell, the way you do this is you do sudo rm and then you do var system.log and then you're going to hit the password and it should be gone and then you click out of your terminal window and that to me is how you do it do not do not quote me on that and if you if you if you get an active trace just let me know if you do get or end up getting passive traced with that so i can explore that a little bit further but that's what i did the last time and it worked for me but now that we got that out of the way we're going to go ahead and decipher the uh, mail password. And then it's going to do the same thing and we're going to have to wait again. All right, I found the password and it's Sophie. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back down here to this guy's email, hit reply and tell him that it is Sophie. And then they tell you, good job. If you want more jobs, go ahead and connect to this. And that is basically it for this. Uh, if this didn't work for you and you ended up getting traced by the end of it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if this helped you at all, give me a like. Uh, if you want to see some more of these tutorials as well as a couple playthroughs of other games, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But this has been I Miss Too Much. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.